Thank you very much, Jerome, for this kind presentation. So, good morning, everybody. Hope everybody has slept a lot after our dinner yesterday. Uh, so, uh, the title of my presentation is Multi-Agent Organization, Organizations. I didn't do it alone, I did it with my colleagues. We presented part of it in some previous um, seminars and workshops in agent schools and conferences. And uh, the outline is the following. I'll introduce you uh, the problem we are going to tackle, present you two point of views of organizations, one is called agent-centered and organization-centered, and discuss more how we should program these ones. If I have time, I'll tackle the reorganization problem and then present some conclusions and <laughs> challenges. So let's start. And I'd like to start with an example. Uh, and this was taken from a paper that I have read when I started my PhD, a paper in a French magazine called La Recherche that was written by Ursuin Ferber in the early 90s. And they discussed about uh, distributed AI and multi-agent systems. And so this is an adapt, adapted version of this scenario. Suppose that there is a robot, Mili, that works in a shop floor in an industry. And uh, uh, for a while, she cannot rule anymore. She has a problem. And then she needs to be fixed. And then she remembered that in the past, there is another robot, Clotaire, that was able to transport her to be fixed. So she asked for Clotaire. Clotaire comes and try to carry Milly to fix her rules. Uh, by the way, time has passed. Milly has gained some weight, and Clotaire is not able to carry her by herself again, as she did it in the past. And in the previous day, there was this kind of official dinner of the robots in the shop floor, and Clotaire, ah, by the way, Clotaire and Milly are female robots, <laughs> for those who were in the, the other, work, on the other uh, panel. And then she noticed that in this evening there was a nice robot called Berthold that was blinking at her and she thought that he was trying to flirt with her. And then uh, she thinks that if this was the case, she could ask him for help. And then, as usually happens, when a female robot or girl asks for a male robot or man some help, what happens? We come. So Bertolt comes and tries to help Clotaire to transport Milly uh, to the reparation. And when he does that, he